Here we have the last heat, 1000 meters for the women, Xandra Velsmo in first, Mazur in second. Both of them qualify for the quarterfinals, extra not fast enough and as a third place skater. Velsmo also three out of three, the 500,000 and 1500 meters. So now have the ice resurface and continue after the ice resurface with the 1000 meters for the men, the heats. Nine races to go. So stay tuned. The thousand meters for the men will be coming up shortly.
So the ice is resurfaced and we will continue with the 1000 meters for the man, the heats, 1000 meters for the man. Nine heats to go. Numbers one and two will qualify for the quarter finals. Starting list for the first thousand meter heat. Robert Skuzbers from Latvia, Ale Hande from the Ukraine, Liam O'Brien from Ireland, Martin Kolenc from Croatia, and Tibor Komriki from Slovenia. This is one of the favorites for this distance, Robert Skuzbers. A finalist in last World Cup in Seoul. Came fifth in the A final on the World Cup. Definitely try to get to that A final on this 1000 meters. So here we go, the first 1000 meter heat for the man. Go to the start. Ready? So that's the start of this first thousand meter heat. Only there was one or two qualify for the quarterfinals Sunday afternoon. So no fastest first place, third place skater, skater just as the 500 meter for the man. Hyundai taking the lead early in this race. Chris Bears in second, O'Brien in third, Kamurki in fourth, and Rambol Alma in fifth. Hyundai is getting his third distance today. He's present on the 1500 and 500 meters as we see the inside pass there from Rumble Alma. Trying to take over that third spot. But O'Brien does a lot to happen, takes over the third spot once again. Still Kuzbers and Hyundai leading this race. O'Brien trying to close that gap towards one or two in this race. We have two laps to go in this first thousand meter heat. We're the bell, the bell for the last lap for Cruz Bears. As she finishes here in first place, Hyundai in second, O'Brien in third. An easy win for Cruz Bears. The strongest thousand meter skaters at the moment. the replay of the action in this first thousand meter hit the easy win from Kuzbergs right behind him Ole Handai from Ukraine yeah, this is also the final result Kuzbergs and Handai moving to those quarter finals O'Brien Rambo Alma and Komariki continuing to the rapid charges we then continue with the second thousand meters for the man Lucas Beckenhauser from Italy in first down position. Theo Commons from Great Britain, Daniel Tugos from Hungary, Jonas Hammermuller from Germany, and Reines Bersins from Latvia. Go to the start.
Ready? Start of this second thousand meter heat. Five skaters on the ice. It is Nogarmi skater Daniel Tibos who takes the lead in this race. Beckenhauser in second on the outside. We see Collins from Great Britain moving to the leading position. Collins in fourth, Bersins in fifth. Beckenhauser, number 10 of the Crystal Globe standings, but it is Bersins. Was trying to make a move on the outside from the back towards the front of this race. Got a yellow card last year on this distance, and now he goes down. So we have four skaters left in this second thousand meter heat. Collins still leading this race. Tibors in second, Speckenhauser in third. Very unfortunate for Reinis Berzins. Push there from Tibors on Collins. Both of them losing out places, so it is now Speckenhauser takes over the lead in this race. Collins in second as they are the belt over the last lap. Numbers one and two qualify for the quarterfinals. And the finish it is the first place for Speckenhauser, second place for Collins. Tibors in third and Collins in fourth. See the replay from the start of this second heat. Here the fall from Berzins. Bad fall there in the boarding, especially with his le left leg. Stumbles off the ice. Chris Collins led the way until we saw this pass from the number 74, Daniel Tibors, on the inside. Both of them losing, losing out. A lot of places. The outside, the number 37, Lucas Beckenhauser. Already was making his move on his way to the leading position. Video review for this action from Talia Tiborsk on the number 108 Theo Collins from Great Britain. Let's see what the final decision will be. Here we have the final results, so penalty for Daniel Tiborsk for that move on Theo Collins. Theo Collins was in the leading position, so he gets an advancement to the next round. To the quarterfinals together with Lukas Speckenhauser. Also with Martin Collins. See the move here, it is in the straight lane from inside to out, causing contact. 74 Daniel Tibors. We then continue with the third thousand meter heats for the men Niall Tracy from Great Britain, Steiner Schmidt from Belgium, Sebastian Lepap from France, and Balas Bontovic from Hungary. Go to the start. Ready? Let's 
start of this third thousand meter heats for the man Tracy takes the lead early in this race to Smet in second Lapap in third and Botovic in fourth Steins just made the runner-up on the thousand meter world championships last season did win the gold medal during the first world cup on this distance definitely will try continue with his European title on this thousand meters already champion it's Tracy takes over the lead again from the Smith Pontovic in third Lapap in fourth see the move on the inside from the Smith taking over the lead again as he has the bell the bell for the last lap the Smith Tracy in second Bontovic in third Bontovic trying to make a move for one of those qualifying position in second but in the end it is lap up finishes in second because of the touch between Bontovic and Tracy and that will be reviewed by the video referee Officially, it is the Smith and Lapap continuing to those quarterfinals. Here we see the move once again from the number 86 Bontovic on the inside of Nile Tracy. So we see the head, head referee Beata Padar giving the final call on the action in this third heat, 1,000 meters for the man. Here we have the 
final results. It is a penalty for Balas Bontovic. A advance, but for now Tracy has his action was for that second spot, so a qualifying spot for the quarterfinals. But it is the Smet and Lapap continue to the quarterfinals. You see the action right here in the straight lane change from inside to out. Cause a contact by the Hungarian skater number 68, Balas Bontovic. Now continue with heat number four on the ice. Quentin Verkork from France. Sinek Sepal from the Czech Republic. Romer Benich from Germany. Steven Alexander Kumniev from Bulgaria. And Jakob Karabin from oh, Slovakia. Ready. We're away with this fourth thousand meter heat for the man. Five skaters on the ice. And it is Carbin leading for Fakork on the outside. Now Kumachev making his move to the front of this race. Bendig now in third for Fakork. With Sepal. Fakork the winner of the B final during last year's European Championships. Let me try to get to the A final this year. As it is Bendig on the outside making a move. They go with that second position. I've been trying to hold on to the second position now. Gets it back from Bendig, but still leading Kumajev. As Bendig move, moves to the leading spot. In this fourth thousand meters for the man. Bendig still in front. For Kumajev, Karabin, Sepal and Verkork. Verkork now in the back on the outside, making his move towards the first two spots in this race. Here comes great move by Verkork. First on the outside and in the end on the inside of Bendig as here's the bell. The bell for the last left. Bendig, Bendig still in second, but it is Sepal, the number 105, on the outside, taking that second position just before the finishing line. And in the end, it is Verkok and Sepal unofficially numbers one and two in this race. Bendig in third, Kumijev in fourth, and Karabin in fifth. Great move there by Quentin for Cork, the Frenchman. Made a move for that second spot on the outside, and immediately moves on the inside of the German skater. Bendig takes over that leading position. Here we see the move in the last corner from the number 105. Zinnik Zippal from the Czech Republic. So that's the final result. So indeed, for Cork and Zippal move on to the quarter finals. We continue with the fifth. 1000 meter heat on the ice. Diana Selye from Poland, Fukan Akar from Turkey, Tobias Wolf from Austria, oh, Ivan Martinic from Croatia, and Rafael Moret from Switzerland. Ready. Start of this 5000 meter heat. See Martinich leading position for now. Moret in second, Celier second in the B final, in thousand meters during last year's European Championships. And fourth now, Akar, bronze medal winner on this distance last year. All the way in the back, in the fifth place, Tobias Wolf from Switzerland.
Martinic shed on the pace in front of the pack, but it is Akar now on the outside trying to make a move. Also Cellier moving to the front. Akar on the inside to that third spot for now. Now all the way right behind Dion Cellier. Cellier and Akar, there was one and two in this race. Martinic trying to hold all of them, but it is Tobias Wolf now on the inside takes over that third spot. Has to close the gap in order to qualify for those quarter finals as we hear the bell. The bell for the last lap. It is Akar on the inside. Moves to the leading position. Can the Wolf close the gap towards the end of this race? He can. It is Celier and Akar, numbers two and one, from this fifth thousand meter heat. Of the fish who qualify for the Sunday afternoon session. Wolf in third, Martinich in fourth, and Morat in fifth. See the replay, Cellier in the front towards the end of the race, but here it is number 31. Fuken Akar from Turkey makes the move, takes over the leading position in the last lap. In the end, finishing in front of Cellier. That's also the final result. So Akar and Cellier moving on to the quarter finals. Many skaters continue to the rapid charges on Sunday morning. Continue with heat number six for skater Stone Boer from the Netherlands, Matteo Antonioli from Italy, Tristan Navarro from France, and Ivan Donjev from Bulgaria. Go to the start. Ready. Start of this 6,000 meters for the man, it is Tim Boer who takes the lead before Antonioli. But not for long as Navarro moves up to the second spot. Navarro now in second, Antonioli in third, Donchev in fourth. With all of them behind. The Dutchman, Tim Boer in front. Antonioli moves up, takes over the lead. Great move there by Navarro on the inside of Tim Boer. So Antioli still leading this race. Navarro in second, Boer in third. Donchev holding on in that fourth spot for now. Three laps to go in the 6,000 meter heat. Antioli still leading this race, but it is Navarro on the inside. Pushes out Antioli, and here we have Tim Boer. Goes to that leading position, takes over the lead. Navarro in second, Antioli still in third. Dunchev in fourth. Can Antioli make a move for that second spot in this race? Let's see. Right behind Navarro it is. Boer takes the win. Navarro in second, Antioli in third. But we see the yellow box on the bottom left of your screen. That means that the action between Navarro and Antioli will be reviewed by the referees. Here we see that action from the number 107, Tristan Navarro on Antonio Leoli. Antonio Leoli having to take the long way around. Gets back in third spot. Closes the gap towards the end of this race, but couldn't pass it before the finishing line. See that coach, Miss Cashot from the Dutch team.
So here we have the final results. It is a penalty for Navarro. Let's make sure that Anton Rodin is moving up to the second position in this race, right behind Tenboer. Both of them qualify for the quarter finals. So we then continue with heat number seven, but first we see the action here. So in the straight lane change from inside to out from the Frenchman Tristan Navarro. Penalizing Anton Loli, but as he becomes second, he's still through to the quarterfinals. As we have here the starting list for heat number seven. Jens van het Wout, Radek Vaikus, Danilo Fodorenko, Jonas Hammermuller and Fredrik Peterson. Go to the start. Ready. So we saw the fall there before the first corner. And so we will, we will have a restart of this heat number seven. Fall to number 61, Radek Fikas from the Czech Republic. So the replay here. Looks like he falls by himself, but. Gets in the way of a few of the other skaters. Therefore, the race will be restarted. There will also be some work for the track stewards to close the holes in the ice before we can restart this seventh heat. Thousand meters for the man. To the start. Ready. And that's a restart of heat number seven thousand meters for the man. See him again on the ice, Jens van het Wout from the Netherlands, third in the thousand meter classification for the Crystal Globe standings. Competing this weekend on the 500 meters because of his small injury. And left, left or his right angle, therefore also skating with another boot on his right foot. You would see him still leading his race the same we saw on the 1500 meters, leading from the beginning. Fikas in second, Federenko in third, Hammermuller in fourth, and Peterson in fifth. Van het Wout setting the pace high early in the race. Three laps to go in this 7,000 meter heat. Fikas tries to hold on to Van het Wout. Right behind him, Federenko, numbers one and two, qualify for those quarter finals. Van het Wout, Fikas, they get the bell, the bell for the last lap. Created a bit of a gap there to Hammer Muller. Taking over the third position, but it is Van het Wout who wins this 7,000 meter heat. Right before Fikus, Hammermuller in third, Fordarenko in fourth, and Peterson in fifth position. Here we see the pause on the inside from the number 111, Jonas Hammermuller on. Emilio Federenko from the Ukraine. But it was for the third spot. 
So we need numbers one and two qualify for those quarterfinals. So a great performance here by Jens van der Vaart leading from the beginning. And here we have the final results. Van der Vaart and Fikers continuing to the quarterfinals. deal with heat number eight Pietro Sigel from Italy Lukas Kazininski from Poland White Petre from Belgium Medhan Adan from Turkey and Anastasic from Lithuania Start of heat number eight thousand meters for the man. Kittel Sigel taking the lead early in this race, number six of the Crystal Globe standings. Kuzinski in second, but now gets passed on the inside by Petre. Petre, Kuzinski, Atan and check in fifth for now. We have seven laps to go in this thousand meter heat. Sigel setting the pace early in this race. Petre still in second. Kuzinski in third. You see the move on the inside. The light move there by Kuzinski. Pushes Petre out of the corner. And it means that Atan takes over that second position. But Kuzinski still close behind Atan. Trying to close that gap. And to me, down in this Sigel. Comfortable lead for him as he hears the bell, the bell for the last lap, and we see it, the yellow box appear there for the action from Atan on Petre. But that has nothing to do with Pietro Sigel, takes the win in this eighth thousand meter heat. Atan in second, Kuzinski in third over the finishers in line, check in fourth, Petre in fifth. The video referee will take a look at this action from the number 35, Lukas Kaczynski, on Petre. Beta Padar looking for the action between the Polish skater Lukas Kaczynski and Wat Petter from Belgium. Close call here for number 35 Lukas Kaczynski going into the corner. Let's see what the final decision will be before we continue with heat number nine and also the last heat, the thousand meters for the men for today.
So here we have the final results. It is a penalty for the Belgian Wart Petre in advance, but for Lukas Kaczynski. So we will move on to the quarterfinals together with Sigel and Atan. Replay of the action here. It was the move from the number 35, Lukas Kaczynski. That was correct on Wart Petre. Lane change from outside to in from Petre on Lukas Kaczynski. We then move on with the ninth and last pause meter heat. Peter Jazapati, Mikael Niewinski, Nico Anderman, and Peter oh, Murphy on down. the ice. Yeah, So four skaters on the ice for this last thousand meter heats for the man. Peter Murphy. Let's play the lead, but it is Niewinski in the lead for now. He has a party in second, Andermann in third, Murphy in fourth. also present on the 500 meters now the move from the Hungarian Yasapati take over and also the move from Enderman but he has a bad corner there loses out now in fourth position Lewinsky back in second Murphy in third already seeing the yellow box on the bottom left will be looked at by the Vida Murphy but it is Lewinsky on the outside taking over the leading position He's lost a thousand meter hit with three laps to go. That's the party in second. Murphy in third. Has to leave a gap to the front two skaters. Also, Anderman having to let Niewinski and Yasapati go. Clear the bell, the bell for the last lap for the two skaters in the front. You can see the finish for Niewinski. Yasapati in second, Murphy in third, and Anderman in fourth. Here we saw the action and very difficult corner by the number 60, Nico Anderman almost falls. He just manages to stay up. Lewinsky and Murphy just get past him. As it is Lewinsky who takes the win unofficially before Peter Yasapati. Here are the final results. It is Niewinski and Yasapati moving on to the quarterfinals on Sunday afternoon. Murphy and Anaman moving to the rapid charges on this thousand meters for the man. Then we'll once again resurface the ice and continue in a few moments with the mixed team relay quarter finals three races to go so stay tuned we'll restart the competition soon with the team relay mixed quarter finals
So we're back after the ice service for the team. Mixed relays. Three quarterfinals to go. First quarterfinal, team the Netherlands, team Hungary and team Germany on the ice. First and second place and two maximum of two fastest third place skaters will qualify for the semi-finals tomorrow. to the star. Right. Here we go, the first quarterfinal team mixed relay. In the Netherlands it is Salma Poutma. Started. Just the globe leaders at the moment and also reigning European and world champions in the lead now for Team Germany and Team Hungary. Team Hungary now making move on the inside. In 47, Rebecca Silas Nemeth from Hungary now in the track. Trying to close the gap to the Netherlands. Jaro van Kerken for the Netherlands. Look at Bush here to Kai Huisman. They'll keep building up their lead over Team Hungary and Team Germany. To give all push to the closing skaters. Netherlands still is leading this race from a bandit for Team Germany now in the track. Tambour from Team the Netherlands. With eight left to go, so they now give the push to the starting women. Selma Pausen for Team the Netherlands. Sarah Luka Bakskaya from Team Hungary. Number 53. Closes the gap a little by little to the Netherlands. As is this Jaro van Kerkhoff for the Netherlands and Rebecca Silesa Nemeth from Team Hungary. Germany still in third position as Jaro van Kerkhoff gives the boost to Kai Huisman. Kai Huisman once again picking up some pace. Third, the starting pistol. So one last exchange here for all teams. Two laps to go for Team the Netherlands. Kofu will lead in this race before Hungary and Germany. Who almost a fall there for Team Boer. Team the Netherlands, but he manages to keep up. Wins his first team relay mixed heat. Second, Team Hungary, and in third, it is Team Germany. The time of Team Germany is important to 49.37. Important to keep an eye out in the next couple of races. As two of the three fastest third place skaters will qualify for the semi finals tomorrow. Not a lot of exchanges in this first mixed team relay quarter final. Netherlands taking an early lead over Team Hungary. See a difficult corner here for Teun Boer, Team the Netherlands. 
He manages to give it up. Finishes still in first. These are your final results of the 249.361. That's important to keep in mind for the next two quarterfinals. We will deal with this second quarter final on the ice. Again, three teams, Team Italy, Team France and Team Ukraine. Start of this second quarterfinal mixed team relay, and it is start for the number 41, Chiara Betty from Team Italy. Ben Lindade in the track for Team France, and the number 57, Eliseta Sidoko for Team Ukraine. They will begin with their first two and a half laps, and now give a push to second woman, Laura Ivarati for Team Italy. Chloe Olivier for Team France and Kazineva Adamenko for Team Ukraine now on the track. As we see Italy already creating a gap to Team France and the Ukraine. Ukraine trying to hold on to Team France. See now the number 50, Thomas Nadalini for Team Italy. Quentin Kok for Team France in the track. Danilo Federenko for Team Ukraine. Quentin Verkok closing that gap to Team Italy. Christian Navarro now in the track for Team France. Right behind the number 37, Luca Speckenhauser. Team Italy. Currently in third place in the Crystal Globe standings on the mixed team relay. Won the bronze medal on both the European and World Championships last season. The women are back in the track. It is Benalinda Dan for France and Chiara Betty for team, for team Italy. They give a push to Gloria Iorati and Chloe Olivier. Craig still trying to hold on. Number one and two teams in this second quarter final. Then the man for the last four laps. Thomas Nadalini picking up some pace once again. But right behind him it is Quinton Fekok. So we'll give the last push to the chosen skaters Tristan Navarro. Now moves on the inside, takes over the lead. But not for long as Luca Speckenhauser takes the lead back as we are the bell the bell for the last lap in this second mixed team relay. Here it is finished. It is Team Italy in first, Team France in second, and Team Ukraine in third. The time of the Ukraine team is to 48.04. It's a little bit faster than Team Germany in the first quarter final. See the replay, it was Team Italy very fast from the beginning. In France having to close that gap. In the end, both teams close racing. We saw the last pass on the inside by Luca Speckhamhauser. Getting a win for Team Italy. Those are also the final results of Team Italy and France. Definitely true to the semi finals. Ukraine has to wait for this last quarter final. For the note, if they also 
the deal to the semi-finals here. We have the last quarter-final, quarter-final number three, Poland, Belgium and Croatia. Poland currently 17 in the Crystal Globe standings, Belgium 6 in the Crystal Globe standings. Runner-up during last year's European Championships in the Mixed Team Relay. We just missed out on a medal during the World Championships. Came in fourth. And that's the start of this third quarter final team mixed relay. And it is a very fast start of Poland, but right behind them it is Hannah de Smith for Team Belgium. Team Croatia trying to keep the gap very tight. Timotska giving the push to Gabriele Topolska. Pinukin de Doek in the track now for Team Belgium. Both teams still close together. Krija and to leave a bit of a gap there to Team Belgium and Team Poland as they push. The man for the first time, number 94 in the track for Team Belgium. This is Andrian De Wachtere. Right behind Lukas. Kuzinski for Team Poland. Lewinski takes over for Team Poland. Stein de Smit for Team Belgium in the track. Those two are the closing skaters. In the back we see Martin Kolenc for Team Croatia. Eight laps ago, so. It is the woman back again in the track. We see Camila Stomoska getting some extra speed. Creating a little gap to Tina Kandadok for Team Belgium. Now the push. The second woman on the team. Topolska for Team Poland in the track. But it is Hannah de Smith for Team Belgium. Right behind her. Closes the gap very easily. Now makes the pass on the outside. Gets a leaning position. She will push Adrian de Wachtere for Team Belgium. Team Bolon, Miguel Numinski will be the last skater. Now Lukas Kaczynski in the track. We have the last three laps for Team Belgium, Team Poland, and in third, Team Croatia. And here they go. It is Steiner Smith for Team Belgium and Miguel Numinski for Team Poland. Peter Bell, the bell for the last lap for Team Belgium and Team Poland. Still numbers one and two. And the finish. Belgium in the first, Poland in second and Team Croatia in third. Time to 48.17. So a little faster than Team Germany in the first quarter final. That's also the official time. Also, Team Croatia will qualify for these semi finals. Here we see Nuwachter right behind Kuzinski. Pushing this mat and Nowinski. This was the great move of Hannah de Smith for Team Belgium. It's 
we have the final result. It is indeed Team Belgium and Team Poland continuing to the semi-finals together with Team Croatia. Time for third place was fast enough. So all teams continue to the semi-finals except Team Germany. We'll see them back tomorrow for the semi-finals of these Team Mixed Relays. We then once again will resurface the ice continue with the last set of quarterfinals, the quarterfinals men 5,000 meters. So stay tuned as these 5,000 meter relay for the men quarterfinals are coming up.
So we're back for this last event of today, the 5,000 meter relay for the men. Three quarter finals to go. And was one and two together with two fastest third place skaters to qualify for the semi finals tomorrow afternoon. So we see four teams on the ice for this first quarter final team Italy. Starting from first, Hungary. Starting from the second starting position. Team France starting from third. And Team Turkey starting from the fourth starting position. That's the start of this first quarter final 5,000 meters men relay. Front of a cock for Team France taking the lead. Turkey in second. No, 31 now in track for Team Turkey is Fuken Akai. Those in skaters. Team Hungary in third and Team Italy in fourth for the moment. See the easy start beginning of this 5000 meter relay for the man. Each member of this relay team will come into the track around six or seven times. See Le Pop for Team France in the lead. Give him a push back again to starting skaters the speed will slowly increase towards the end of this man relay close corner already there early in the race it was turkey took over the lead for just a moment but it is back again team france in the lead for now 13 seconds, but now on the inside it is Team Hungary moving up the place right behind the French team. And also Team Italy trying to move up the place. Will be difficult for the exchange. Oh, and we see there a little hiccup for the Italian team. Now we're four, fourth, but luckily for them it's still early in the race. Enough time to come back to the leading three teams. It's team France. Leads away for Team Hungary and Team Turkey. Etienne de Bassier for Team France in the lead. And she pushes Lep up. Italy moving to the third spot. Now the exchange is good after the pass that we saw earlier. Popovic for Team Hungary. Right behind for Cook. Speckenhauser for Team Italy. Fugen Akan for Team Turkey. We have 24 laps to go in this first quarter final 5,000 meters. Men relay.
She has the lap to get down the ice. Gets worse. Every turn I make, a little bit of the ice is pushed out of the track. Making it more difficult each lap to go over it as we see Quentin Verkork for Team France. Montevich for Team Hungary. It's all four teams still close together. You see the lap times gonna be below the nine seconds means that the speed is increasing. As you see the move there for Team Hungary or they try to move for that leading position but it is the number 106 Etienne Bassier for Team France still holds on to that leading position now is a push to Sebastian Lepap. Big Frenchman leading for Team France giving a push to his teammate Quentin Fakok. 50 laps to go, so we see Verkok increasing the speed. Now it is down to the last two or three exchanges. Navarro increasing the pace even more. Hungary is still in second. Turkey now in third. Team Italy runners up on last year's European Championships now in fourth. They We'll have to move. Oh, and a push there for from Team France on Team Hungary. And we'll see that Team Turkey now takes over the lead of this race. Italy in second, Hungary in third, France in fourth. Can they close that gap towards the front three teams? That push there for Team Turkey, yeah, but a very good push by Team Hungary. Team Hungary takes over the lead once again. Team Italy in second. All four teams back together as we see. Team France moving up to the third spot. The only numbers one and two qualify directly and two fastest third place skaters, third place teams qualify for those semi-finals. Team Hungary still leading. Closely followed by Team Italy and Team France. Turkey now has to leave a little bit of a gap there to the front three teams. Can they keep up towards the end of this race? We have five laps to go. The last couple of exchanges will be crucial. So we have the final push right here. It is number 68, Bontovic. Gives a push to his teammate for the last two laps. It is Yasipati in the track for Team Hungary. Speckenhauser for Team Italy. As we are the bell, the bell for the last lap. Team Hungary still leading, but closely followed by Team Italy. It is Hungary that takes the win in this first quarter final. Before Team Italy in second. Team France in third and Team Turkey in fourth. But as you can see, two yellow boxes on the screen. And that means that the video referee will take a look at the two actions. So we'll see second action from Team Hungary on Team France. Actually also going inside of the block out of that second block I think yeah it was the number 53 Vince Nogade for Team Hungary making that move on Team France we also had that first action of the bad exchange for Team Italy no further action for that one the referee still looking at action between Team France and Team Hungary. Let's see what the final decision will be before we continue with the second quarter final.
Those were your two actions. First one. Bad exchange here for Team Italy. And here's the second one. Team Hungary and Team France. Here we have the final result. It is a penalty for Team France. It beats that the Turkey moves up to that third spot. So Hungary and Italy to, to the semi-finals. Team Turkey still has to wait for the next two quarter-finals. The time is enough to qualify for the semi-finals. So it was indeed the action right here of Team France on Team Hungary. Number one on six in the end, Bastier doing the action from Team France on Team Hungary as we continue with the second quarter final Team Belgium first under position, followed by Team Great Britain, Team U Ukraine, and also Team Austria. That's the start of this second 5,000 meter relay for the man. Again, four teams on the ice. This team, Great Britain, takes the lead in this race. Followed by Belgium, Ukraine and Austria. fall there for team Ukraine just as we saw by the bad exchange from Italy in the last race early in the race still enough time to close that gap and get back to the front skaters still great bit and leading followed by Belgium Austria and now in the back back it is team Ukraine as well for Team Austria in the track. Right behind him it is Rostilov Leontenko. And gets pushed to his teammate. See the closing skaters now in the track. Steiner Smith for Team Belgium. Still 36 below to go. A lot can happen in these 36 laps. As it is Enzo Prost. Giving a push to his teammates. Teammate Wart Pette. Team Ukraine moving up to the third spot. Austria now in fourth. Theo Collins for Great Britain. Which is now Tracy, the closest skater for Great Britain. Just keep the base still. Consistent lap times around the 10 seconds still going easy as we have 29 laps to go. 
this second 5,000 meter quarter final. Pace is slowly increasing towards the end of this second quarter final. 23 laps to go. As it is, Peter Riches, for Team Great Britain in the track, followed by Wart Petre for Team Belgium. Theo Collins. Front behind him is out post. And pushing Stein the Smith takes over the leading the lead for Team Belgium. Team Belgium now in first. Great Britain in second. Austria still in third. Ukraine in fourth. But all four teams still close together. As you see the lap times increasing. 18 laps to go. We see a little gap between Great Britain and Austria, and also between Austria and the Ukraine. Ukraine trying to hold on to the leading three teams. The steel columns for Great Britain. Pushing Niall Tracy right behind Stein the Smith. Twelve laps to go now. The speed is increasing even more. Team Belgium trying to get small gap over Team Great Britain. Austria still very close to Great Britain. It wasn't the best push there, the best exchange. They have around 20 meters between Great Britain and Austria. Numbers one and two qualify directly for the semi-finals. Eight laps to go in this second quarter final. Team Belgium creating a comfortable lead as Great Britain tries to close the gap to Team Belgium. Team Austria can't close that gap anymore. We go to the last five laps. Wat Petre for Team Belgium. Pushing his teammate as a post. Will push Stein de Smet for the last two laps here. In this second quarter final 5000 meter. And also Peter. Uh, Niall Tracy for Team Great Britain. It's with the bell. The bell for the last lap for Stein de Smet. As you can take it easy. Because of this big lead, it is Team Belgium who takes the win in this second quarter final. Great Britain in second, Austria in third, and Team Ukraine will be finishing in fourth. And as we can see, the time of Austria 7:19 is slower than the time in the first quarter final. We still have to wait for the last heat, if it will be enough. Here we see the tumble of the Ukrainian goes down early in this second quarterfinal. The 
but in the end this is a very easy win by team Belgium so we have the final results it is indeed team Belgium and Great Britain continuing to the semi-finals Austria still have to wait for the last quarter-final for the know for sure they qualified for these semi-finals again continue with the third and the last quarter-final 5,000 meters for the men Netherlands, Poland and Bulgaria Netherlands the reigning European champions fifth in the overall standings of the crystal globe That's the start of this third and last quarterfinal men 5,000 meter relay. We see the fast start of Bulgaria. As they want to go for that fast third place. Only three teams in this race. First and second will qualify directly for those semi finals. So, Team Bulgarian in the front, followed by Team Poland. Team the Netherlands now in third. See Maxim Maximov for Team Bulgarian in track. Right by them, Selier. With a bad corner there for Team Bulgaria. So Tipolo taking over the lead in this race, Netherlands in second. That's this number 132, Felix Pigeon for Team Poland. It gets a push to Lukas Kazininski. Team Bulgaria moves on the outside, takes over that leading position. Tries to keep the pace high. Doing this whole 5,000 meter men relay. Niewinski in second. Itzak de Laat for Team the Netherlands in third. To give the push to Celier for Team Poland. And Friso Amos for Team the Netherlands. Hassan Giov for the Bulgarian team in the front 34 laps to go in this third quarter final 5,000 meters all three teams still close together So the time to beat for Team Bulgaria, 6, indeed 7.19.029, that's the time to beat for Team Bulgaria. We'll see once again Maxim Maximov in the track. Team Boland passes Bulgaria, Bulgaria passes them back. 
as a gear off. Takes a move for Team Bulgaria. Takes over the lead once again. Kuzinski for Team Poland in the track. Followed by Teun Boer for Team Netherlands. Team still close together. No big actions yet as we have 23 laps to go in this last 5,000 meter quarter final. Team Pola now making a move to the leading position in this number 35, Lukas Kaczynski. He will push the closing skaters. His team at Mikhail Niewinski. Very wide corner there of Niewinski. The current team can pass them. The middle of the corner takes over the lead. The Netherlands still in the back for now. As Frieza Emons moves up for Team The Netherlands to the second spot, Kai Huisman now takes over the lead for Team The Netherlands. Poland in second, Bulgaria in third. As the speed increases towards the end, 16 laps to go. Team Bulgaria tries to hold on in order for one of the fastest third place spots. Now it is Team Denalens increasing speed together with Team Poland. It's like the last for Team Denalens. Niewinski for Team Poland. Chris Raymond's giving a push to Kai Huisman for Team The Netherlands. Right behind him it is Kuzinski for Team Poland. Bronze medal winners from last year's Europeans. Same race it was the Netherlands who took the European title in this men 5000 meter relay. There's Tambour continues to Increased speed gives a push to Isaac Dalat. So we have seven laps to go, so all skaters will be once more in the track. Diana Sellier for Team Poland, right behind Friso Amons. So both of the teams have a comfortable lead over Bulgaria. We're here. Starting pistol for the last three laps. So one more exchange to go. And this exchange to Isaac de Laat and to Mikhail Niewinski. If both Team Netherlands and Team Poland will easily go into the last lap. Therefore, finishing one and two to qualify for the semi finals tomorrow.
See the replay of the action here. It was a close battle for all three teams. Team Bulgarian setting the pace early in the race. But with 20 laps to go, it was Team the Netherlands who took over the lead. Slowly increased the pace even more. And in the end, finishing in the first. Right behind him, it was Team Poland in second. Let's see what the time of the Bulgarian team is. With these results are also official and they are. And also Team Bulgaria manages to qualify for the semi-finals. So the Netherlands, Poland and Bulgaria continue to the semi-finals of the men 5000 meter relay. Here we see all eight teams qualified for the semi-finals. Unfortunately for Team Austria, the third time 7.90, not fast enough to qualify for these semi-finals. Together with the Ukraine and Team France, they won't be attending the semi-finals tomorrow. That was the last event of this qualifying day. I want to thank you all for watching. Hopefully we'll see you back tomorrow morning for the rapid charges. 1500 meters and the 500 meters. So have a nice evening and hopefully we'll see you back tomorrow.